Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Adrian Broner took his third loss over the weekend to Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia put on a dominant performance over Adrian Broner. And, you know, obviously Adrian Broner has some strange words to say to his fans out there. He kind of dissed them, in my opinion. Chose to skip the post-fight press conference. And in the last couple of days, he's gone to social media to kind of say, hey, you know, I'm a four-time world champion in four different weight classes. He's only 28 years old, and he's never been stopped. And most recently, he posted a picture uh, of himself and his record, along with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Shane Mosley, Julio Cesar Chavez, the real Julio Cesar Chavez, not the fake junior one. Um, Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson, excuse me. So what he's trying to say is, matter of fact, let me just read his quote off. 28 years old, and I'm a four-time world champion of four weight classes. Never been stopped, and always fight until the last sounding bell. I'm a warrior, and I promise I will be champion again. I'm already a legend, but I got plenty of fight left in the tank. Now this is just something to look at. Yeah, you write about one thing. This is something just to look at because you're not a legend, okay? Well, we could break this down real quick, man. I mean, of course, there are all-time greats out there who have losses on their record. The majority of all-time greats don't have – the majority of great fighters, you know, have lost. I mean, it's not, it's not the fact that they have a loss. It's but what they do after they take a loss. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these fighters have, have come back from adversity – and have continued to win and continued to be dominant, okay? Also, if we look at any of these fighters' resumes, we're going to see a plethora of tough opponents on their resume, right? All these guys I mentioned have big names on their records. But here's the thing about Adrian Broner. Who has Adrian Broner beat that was a tough fight? Like, that was a legitimate, you know, uh, future Hall of Famer, or somebody who we can even talk about with, with the greats, or someone we can talk about that could potentially be on the, the pound for pound list, this mythical pound for pound list. And, you know, to that I say none. Now, Marcos Maidana, Sean Porter, and now Mikey Garcia, he couldn't beat them, and they were A level fighters. But Adrian Broner's got a bunch of, you know, he's got Paulie Mal he got Paulie Malinaji, um, Look, man, he don't have nobody on his resume to make claims like this. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you tell me who Adrian Broner has fought that's a level that, that has fought and has beat that's an A-level fighter. Tell me that. You really can't tell me anybody that Broner has on his record that's a A-level fighter. I mean, he's got a number of, you know, C plus B level fighters. But he is right, he's never been knocked out before. But that's because he never presses the action when he's losing. Aside from the Marco, Marcos Maidana fight. But, I mean, he fought, he went life or death with Adrian Granados. You know, he beat the shit out of Ashley Thielpain. He beat the shit of Khabib Alak Verdiev, uh, John Molina Jr., Emmanuel Taylor, Carlos Molina. I mean, Antonio DeMarco, Gavin Reese. I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, there's nothing more to say, dude. You're not... You're not that dude. You never were that dude. And Mikey Garcia says that, you know, Adrian Broner will be able to bounce back. He'll be able to win a world title. He'll only be able to win a world title if, if Terrence Crawford, once Terrence Crawford beats Julius Ndago, if he vacates his titles. Because then he might get lucky and be able to fight for one of those vacated belts. Does that really make him a champion, though? Come on, man. Like, I'm being nice today. You know, yesterday I kind of went in, or the other day I really went in on Adrian Broner. But, like, I, I see what you're doing on social media, dude. Like, you're not about to make a million dollars. You're not about to make, at least I don't think he's going to make a million dollars in another fight. I mean, who does Adrian Broner beat? Who does he beat? N tell me who he beats at, at 140, 147. Because we know he's going to, he's probably going to fight at 147. The 140, 147 range for the rest of his career. I just want to know who he beats. I don't even think he beats Chris Algieri, man. I don't think he beats Victor Postal, bro. 
Like, any name I think of, I just, I'm just like, wow, he could potentially lose that fight. Literally any name that I think of that, that comes to mind that's, you know, somewhat relevant or someone who's perceived as a, a good fighter, okay fighter. Like, he should have took that money from Rock Nation. He should have ran with it. He definitely should have took that money that Manny Pacquiao offered him because, like, he'll never see that kind of money again. You know, I really doubt that Manny Pacquiao will want to... You know, that actually be a pretty good fight right now, Pacquiao and uh, Broner, since they're both coming off a loss. They're both big names, you know what I mean? But, I mean, even Jeff... Man, Jeff Horn might beat the shit... Man, Jeff Horn might even beat the shit out of Adrian Broner, man. <laughs> Who does Broner beat? Um, I'm just... I'm thinking out loud right now. I didn't even plan on making this video about AB again. Uh, Victor Ortiz... Damn... I saw Victor Ortiz's last fight. He looked good in his last fight, man. And, you know, he's a pressure fighter. I don't think Adrian Broner could hurt Victor Ortiz like that. I think Victor Ortiz could beat Adrian Broner. Damn, dude. You're not giving me many options here. What about Bam Bam? Um, nah, Bam Bam probably beats him if he catches him. Timothy Bradley probably beats Broner too. Um, Terrence Crawford definitely beats Broner. I'm I'm th thinking of names, man. It's it's hard. Uh, who's the dude that just beat Robert Guerrero? Omar Figueroa. That'd be a good fight. Omar F Omar Figueroa and Adrian Broner. That's a good fight because I think Omar Figueroa is trying to go back down to 140 because he, he had a long layoff before he fought Robert uh, Guerrero. I think Robert Guerrero beats Adrian Broner too, though. Man, I would have said all this before the fight with. Damn, I don't know if I would. I, I probably would have said the same thing before the fight with. Mikey Garcia, again, I'm I'm thinking of names here. Um, he wouldn't he wouldn't fight uh, Andre Berto. Uh, gosh, man, this dude. See, he done he done messed his career up because he just messed his career up, man. I told you, he gate, gatekeeper status with three losses. And let me tell you this: if he ever gets another step up fight, he's getting stopped. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. He'll take a couple of interim fights, a couple of C-level fighters, a couple bums maybe, two, three, four bums. Then he might get a chance to get another step-up fight. And then that's it. That'll be it for AB, man. You know? <laughs> Opening act for life. For life. It's a shame, too. Because all, cause all Adrian Broner, I think, it really, I mean, all he really needs is, in my opinion, to get another trainer. And to let his hands go. But I think he's afraid to get knocked out. It looked like he was afraid to get punched by Mikey. Like, he doesn't want to get hit, but you're going to get hit, dude. You know, he tries to emulate Floyd Mayweather. He does a terrible job at that. You know, he emulates the worst aspect of Floyd Mayweather the best. That dumbass persona he has outside the ring. The old Floyd Mayweather. And not even, he's not even like old Floyd. He's worse than old Floyd. Like, you're just dumb as hell, man. You got, like, seven kids, dude. You got all this... Like, your money about to be dry. Dry as shit, dude. I don't know. I'm just... I'm trying to think of ways to get AB back on track, but I can't think of none. And this Instagram post about, <laughs> you know, all these other great fighters that have losses on their records, it doesn't help you because... I mean, it, one, it was a different era these guys were fighting in. And two, they were actually fighting tough opponents, and they actually beat tough opponents, which you really haven't done. Like, you've had tough fights with bums, but, y'all, you know what? I'm going to end this shit right here. I just have one question for y'all out there right now. Just one question. Has Adrian Broner had a Hall of Fame-worthy career? Answer that question for me. Drop a comment in the comment section. We'll discuss that. Because I'd love to see someone say that he has and try to argue that, you know. But we'll see. Um, Hitman Boxing, like the video. Like I said, leave a comment about the question I just asked. And uh, subscribe. I'm out.
niggas steady, ignoring greatness. Word. A pall bearer, what you need when I come undertaking. This hostage take over by the chill over. I got the blueprints, I really do this, so move on over. Stay in your lane, niggas stay in your lane. You steady running at the guns, but fucking suck at the game. Ain't it a shame? It really is. My words invoke fear. I teach you lessons that I had you breaking down in tears. Call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat. Chaining up the doors, I'm spelling all these niggas from rap. Cause they kill your brain cells, son. How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you. And then repeating, but tis the season for chill rage. I bring about change. But not Obama, cause this nation I will never claim. I got my sights aimed at the top spot on the chop block.